Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to restore your Wi-Fi driver if your kernel has been updated in your Linux, which is Ubuntu. I have Ubuntu Mate, and when I got an update, my kernel updated, and I lost my Wi-Fi driver. This used to make me panic. I used to have to go get a long cord and pull from one end of my house Ethernet cable and connect to my system here at the back of the house. Instead of doing all that now, I've learned that I can download the driver that I need and put it on my thumb drive and I keep a little help file here. This little help file here uh, helps me restore my Wi-Fi driver so that I don't have to get on the internet and download the driver again and reinstall it. I can keep it on a thumb drive and then copy it when I need it and install it. Uh, to start with I got the steps. It's just really two main steps along with some sub steps within step two and it's back up and running. All right, before you try to copy what I've done, you need to first confirm your USB wireless adapter because I do have a wireless adapter Wi-Fi on the back of my computer. This is a desktop system, and I can't leave the wire plugged in because it has to go through the doors of several rooms because the modem, the wireless modem, is on one side of the house and the computer is on the other side. So to see the type of wireless ad uh, adapter I'm using, you open your terminal and you type in the command lsusb I'm just copying and pasting from my help file and when you look through this description here you can see that it does consist of the Realtek Semiconductor uh, Corporation so I'm going to clear this out you don't have to clear it but I'm just keep getting rid of some clutter I'm going to minimize my terminal now it says copy a zip file which if you look in my wi my Wi-Fi driver is this is a zip file. I've already extracted it in this folder but you can copy this file into your downloads folder and as you can see I've already have it here and if you even look which I have the name here the Realtek RL RTL 8812AU515 I already have it extracted here it's the same as I have in my Wi-Fi so I can save some steps but in the case that you don't understand what I did I just basically you just copy this file if you download it and put it in your make sure it's in your downloads folder and I'll explain the reason for that in a few moments then you right click and say extract here when you extract it here it will place it into this folder here I just open up this folder and these are the files I need to reinstall the driver for my Wi-Fi to get me back on the internet so let's go back to our steps it says if you see the Realtek Semiconductor Corp, which we did, then move to the next step. I copied the file, I already had it in my downloads folder because this is something I do each time that I update my kernel. Then you're going to right click the file, choose extract here, which I've already done. This will extract the driver and the downloads folder and place it in the folder of this name. Then you're going to open your terminal, I've already minimized it. I'm going to change my directory to downloads. And that's why I said it's very important that you put this in your downloads folder. So when you press the enter key, and notice that the D in downloads is capitalized. That makes a huge difference. Then you're going to change the directory one more time. You're going to change it in the name of the directory that was created when you extract the drivers files. Then you're going to type in the word make. Press the enter key and it's going to go through and do its little process. It's setting the files up to get ready to install them. So the files that were ex uh, in the zip files, when you extract them and it put them in the folder using the make command, prepares these files so that you can install them. So as you can see here, it's going through and putting them where it needs to go. If you see uh, home Tommy, which is my name, downloads the name of the folder we're in, it's putting them in those locations so it's going through and doing its little process this takes a couple minutes maybe a few minutes we're almost done we have about two more steps and then this process is completed now while it's going through this I, do, I can't get on the internet to show you my web page but if you're looking at this on YouTube I will put a link to this, the instructions so if you're having a hard time following along on the video you can go to the link in, my, in the description below and I will actually upload 
this into a, a link where you can download this driver and this help file uh, so that you can store this on a USB drive in case you're, you ever update your kernel and you lose your Wi-Fi then you don't have to actually get on the Wi-Fi to download the drivers again. All right, The make process is completed now I'm going to install it. Now notice I am using the sudo command which means I'm going to make myself like with administrator privileges so it will ask me for my password put in your systems password press the enter key and it's going through the process of installing and it's completed it uh, as you can see it went through and installed this driver into the new uh, kernel now you can reboot your computer you should be also be able to restart your network manager so I'm going to try this and as you can see it says I'm disconnected it may not work I may have to reboot I do have to reboot so hang on just a moment I will reboot and I will be back okay I just rebooted my computer and if you noticed a couple minutes has went by because uh, an update popped up on my system and I got that and I thought well you don't need to watch uh, the update install but after I reboot a computer I am now connected back to my Wi-Fi so this is a problem with Ubuntu and Ubuntu based uh, distributions is that when the kernel updates you do lose your Wi-Fi driver so if you keep the driver on a thumb drive or in your downloads folder and you keep the instructions on how to reinstall it it just takes a minute or two and you've got your driver back up and running I know that can be a little aggravation but if you're comparing it with like Windows 10 when it gets a major upgrade sometimes it takes a couple hours to go through and download the upgrade and then set it right and looking at the amount of time it takes to run your antivirus programs so I know there's little, little nags about Windows there's nags about you know the drivers in Linux uh, but overall I think that uh, Ubuntu Mate and Linux is a great operating system so I hope this helped you restore your driver and every time that your Linux kernel updates uh, you don't have to panic on trying to connect to the internet to, to get the fix for it that you have a fix on your thumb drive or on in a folder on your computer have a great day